Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. My name is Emily Keller. I am a fashion designer located in New York City. Just to remind everybody or let people know who are new to my channel, I have been gone from YouTube for a little while because I've been working on my portfolio. I'm actually working on getting back into the industry as a office fashion designer. I don't know, whatever you call it, like working in an office. So I am working on my portfolio lately and I haven't been posting videos so much, but I thought it would be fun to work on some stuff for my portfolio, but actually film a video for it. So I've been working on a lot of CAD work lately. I just finished doing a bunch of CADs in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll put them here or here. You can see my CADs that I'm working on. I need more hand sketches for my portfolio. So this is for my personal collection that I did on my own brand when I was living in China. I never put together a nice presentation with the collections. You know, we always did nice photo shoots and stuff like that. Like I have a lot of content, but I've never organized that content into a nice presentation. So my portfolio is a great uh, reason to organize the information and the content that I have into a really nice presentation. But when you do that, sometimes you're missing things to make a complete presentation. I did a lot of things while I was making the collection, but then, you know, you lose some of the content. I lost a bunch of Illustrator files with CADs on it. Uh, a lot of all the sketching I did back then was like on paper and you lose those papers with the developmental sketches that you had. You lose just like a lot of stuff along the way. And right now what I'm doing is filling in those spaces in my portfolio that I either uh, had the content and lost it or just never had the content at all and I'm creating it now. One thing I'm doing now is hand sketching, but I just got a new iPad mini that I'm really excited about and I'm hoping that I will do a lot more sketching with this iPad. Before I've always just used paper and pencil, but the iPad's kind of fun. It's a lot easier. It's really nice. It's really clean. And I can also do screen recording on this. So I'm gonna record the screen. It's awesome. You can like watch me sketch as I go, I thought that would be fun. So right now I'm working on look number 29 from my Cocoon collection, a reversible dress. I focus a lot more on the stitches on this collection than I did on the garment shapes or construction. I did really simple construction and shapes because I spent so much development on the fabrics themselves, on making them reversible and making them really just special fabrics. So that, you know, it really balanced it out, having these really unique special fabrics and then having really simple shapes and silhouettes, kind of classic, more timeless. But I'm missing a lot of hand sketches in my portfolio. So right now I'm sketching look number 29 from uh, the Cocoon collection and I'm just gonna kind of have fun doing really rough sketches of this dress, thinking back to what I thought about when I was developing this dress. Of, yeah, and just keep it really loose. These are supposed to be developmental sketches of the, this is gonna be of the shape of the garment. So it's really simple shapes. I might do some like textures, you know, rendering the fabrics a little bit in texture, probably no color. Just gonna keep these black and white. But yeah, just gonna kind of sketch and you can hang out and watch me sketch. <laughs> So I wanna do about, uh, maybe about 20, 20 sketches, 20 rough sketches of this dress. And I use a croquis, as you can kind of see. When I'm doing developmental sketches, it's just easier doing freehand. I wanna get better at freehand, but my freehand is not amazing. And it just keeps everything really proportional if I use uh, a croquis to kind of just follow as I'm sketching. It's like training wheels for sketching. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping to do more sketching with my new iPad. I really wanna get better at sketching uh, freehand fashion. So first look, okay, so we have this dress. Let's see, what was I thinking about when I did this dress? Long, slim shapes. So let's just go with what we have to kind of start just to warm up. So, oh, that's really thick. Do we wanna do it, did I do these that thick? Um, so let's do one and a half, that's better. I'm happier with that. Um, this is kind of, woo, these are really rough. We just had kind of this body skimming long dress that basically went down to the ankles. And it also had side slits, I think from around here. We just had these kind of side slits. So we'll just kind of put rough side slits in. That was really nice. I really liked the shape. Um, tubular, tubular side seams here. I'm trying, you know, this will be kind of fun. We'll just do one that has like, where you kind of change the, mm, 
change the width of the I did this in different colors, but we're just oops, three is too much. So this would be kind of a fun I mean this would be a super extra. This would be kind of a fun pattern on this dress if we would have done this. But it's probably better that I kept it more of a subtle pattern because the, it's a big it's a big dress. Cocoon, that looks like a cocoon, right? I I think so. Abstractly it looks like a cocoon, right? Sleeves would have been nice maybe. So and also like a tighter crew neck, I don't know. Sleeves, tighter crew neck. Um, same thing though, kind of skimming the body. And then from here, maybe slightly higher slits. But still, I'm liking the floor length. That was kind of what I was going for, there we go. Oh, this is really rough. <laughs> This is something like this. Oh, I wish I had more of a, pa of a pattern I was following with this, but I think maybe we just kind of do this in a few places because this is too tiny. It's too difficult to render. Yeah, anyway, I think that's the kind of idea. Is it easier here? I don't know. Sometimes it is just relaxing to just, uh, the rendering can be really relaxing. It's like, uh, sketching these really just like tiny little things. You can, if you really just kind of zone out on it, it's really kind of nice. But then also if you're just annoyed by it, it can drive you crazy. So it's just kind of one of those, uh, you can either let it relax you or you can let it drive you crazy. <laughs> Okay, so that's, I just want to do a little bit of rendering just to kind of get some texture sense in there. That's nice. Mm, what would be an interesting shape for a long dress? One-shouldered, asymmetrical is always interesting. Not very traditional. I feel like it's pretty risky and a lot of people don't buy them, the asymmetrical or the one-shoulder. Mm, eh, mm. They're kind of interesting and very fashionable, but... What else would I be thinking about in a cocoon shape? I mean, I mean we could go like outward because a cocoon is like kind of spherical, right? But then I don't know how flattering that is. I feel like that's not very really flattering to the body. So we could do something where we're more flattering here. So from the here, we could kind of just go out. Like that's more of a... Longer sleeves. Mm, that's more of like a spherical cocoon shape, I guess. Like if you just have a full, I mean, it's basically just a fuller skirt, right? The fuller skirt. It's kind of these lines that kind of. Kind of follow each other and connect, but then are also a little bit random, kind of like they kind of would be in nature. It kind of looks like a cocoon, maybe? If you squint really hard. Mm, then we're not gonna film the whole thing, we're just gonna kind of like, oops. 
right there. Oh, yeah, something like this. Floor length, let's go back to floor length, but maybe we could do something interesting like that's really billowy. This is really pretty, where we just did lines, maybe of different widths eventually, but basically just do these lines. Start with 0 0.5. 0.5, let's try one. turned into a pretty it's a pretty pattern at least when I s originally sketched it not in a garment oh I kind of like it it's pretty one and a half no oops I think the varying the weight of the line looks quite nice and maybe just go up to two and then that's it I feel like it's kind of heavy maybe a little too heavy for the top of the dress but it's interesting how it's really tight at the top of the dress because it's a smaller area and then it kind of spreads out at the bottom of the dress I kind of like that it makes the bottom of the dress look kind of light it's kind of nice Boop. Let's fill this in a little more mm, fill the side a little more I like it I like that I like the full skirt on the bottom I mean it makes it look very evening but it would be a nice sort of contrast to the knit fabric, which knit fabric can be... This knit fabric that I did for this dress anyway is very casual, feels like a very casual fabric. So on a very full skirt like this, I think that that's kind of interesting. As long as it didn't get too heavy and stretch itself out, which it didn't seem to do on this dress. It stretches a little bit because it is knit, so you have to account for the fabric stretching a little bit uh, when you are figuring out the length. But because it was light enough, I think it basically worked. I'm just playing with shape. What if we did long? What if we did long sleeves? And we did a long dress? I feel like the neck should be pretty open. So the long sleeves. And then... Same thing, maybe just, I'm liking the full skirt at the moment, so I'm just gonna kind of go with the full skirt. Um, it looks a little bit, I don't know, matronly, because it's covering so much. The, low, the lower neck helps. So let's see if we could put a pattern on it that makes it more wild, so it doesn't look like such an old lady dress. Let's see if we can do it to the shape of the... The shape of the so one goes down so one goes down past the other like that one goes down this one cuts off here okay so this is kind of a thicker line here and then we have another one that comes over this one is this working I don't know um, I think we do like something here. Oh, that's what I'm missing on this side, I think. All right, that's fine. So then I think we're gonna need something here. Is this working? I feel like this is not working. Like the sides are kind of working. 
Oh, it just kind of comes like from here. That's what's, what's, what's happening. It kind of comes past there. This kind of comes this way. This kind of comes that way. Was I doing, um, uh, oh. I was doing them too straight. This one kind of comes into that one. if we can create because I don't want to so let's go ahead and go this way does that make sense same thing here go this way out This way. Sometimes you lose yourself in these patterns a little bit, and you you're trying to make sense of a pattern, and it will kind of make sense, maybe, but you kind of I don't know. So I have this pattern that I drew. And it looks really nice when I originally drew it, but now I'm like, I can't get the feeling of what I drew then. I mean, it's basically like a braid. So I drew like a braid. So you have these pieces that... Okay, I'm not even getting this right now. Seeing that these come out, so this comes out of here, kind of. This comes out of here, kind of. Well, it is what it is. So then, oh, then here maybe we could add going going back the other way. Ooh, so here. goes here and I think we're just gonna this is what it's gonna do okay I think I'm only gonna go to 10 looks, I want number seven now because this is already being coming a long video. So 10 looks, I'm gonna do the other 10 on my own and then uh, I'll show you when I'm done with all 20, I guess. So do one that's like a really skinny shape. Girls just go really slim. interesting patterns like so I kind of like this one that's kind of going different directions kind of going like a million different directions
cool. That's number seven. Well, we just start here and go really thin. So it's just no shape. And we also do... What if we just do like really high side slits where you have to wear pants underneath? Really high side slits with... Short sleeves. We just have more like bubbly patterns too. Like, well basically just circles, right? Circles or square kind of shapes that also kind of look like the surface of a cocoon. I'm not putting this all over the whole dress, that's too much, but okay, something like that. I can also put some down here. And these sort of patterns that I do, they could either be represented, um, in my collection, some of them are represented by just a uh, bird's eye jacquard, which is just the actual pattern knitted in the pattern with different color yarns. And some of them are actually knitted into knit stitches that have texture uh, and shape in the stitch which those are the two main options is creating a unique stitch that resembles a pattern or or just doing that pattern with different colors in bird's edge of card which is just alternating different colors um, either of those basically work for those are the two main ways that i create patterns and knit even here would that be i mean that's kind of weird but something that literally just falls from here straight down that would really be like really free flowing fabric. I feel like we need sleeves to hold it together or something. Sleeves that kind of also have their own shape up to, to that point. Mm -hmm. I don't know if construction-wise that's if it's actually possible, but it would be interesting to start a side slit from basically mid arm hole, and then it flows down, it flows all the way down. Ooh, that would be crazy. So then you'd also have the back layer kind of going down as well. I mean, you wouldn't see it on both sides, but we'll put it on both sides. I like these one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's just a really pretty canvas for, uh, for abstract art, basically. So let's do sleeves again. I like, I like sleeves. More of a crew neck, maybe. But then with the slits, you can always do, uh, can always do like one slit here that kind of goes across. So if it slits here, this piece kind of hangs down.
kind of pretty. Okay, 10. That is it. These are the final 20 sketches that I did for this dress for my portfolio, for the developmental sketches in my portfolio. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment below if you like sketching, if you hate sketching. If you sketched on an iPad, I highly recommend it. It's really, really nice and way less messy than pencil and paper. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!